Oh. All right, folks. I am out of breath right now, as you can probably tell, because I'm on my way up to the top of a mountain. It's a pretty unique habitat type. It's very xeric, and it provides habitat for snakes like green snakes and hog noses, rattlesnakes, you name it. So I'm really out of breath. I'm gonna catch you guys at the top. Oh, all right, well, I'm finally getting near the top and when you get close, you can smell it. It's all these pitch pine trees and uh, low bush blueberry. So uh, it gives off a certain kind of piney scent and uh, I'm glad to be smelling it right now. Oh, look, double flip of red bellies. That's neat. This is a good sign. Three rocks in and we've already got some snakes, which is a really good sign. These are red bellied snakes and beautiful examples. Um, pretty typical looking for this area. Sometimes they are uh, darker colored on the top, but they're extremely variable. Um, sometimes really red on the bottom. Really, these guys can come in almost any shade of orange and brown and gray. Wow. That's super cool. Well, I'm going to uh, let these guys go in just a moment here after a quick cell phone picture. All right, turning these guys loose. They're being uncooperative as expected, but they'll find their way back under the rock or in the leaves nearby it. Oh, there's a snake skin. Oh, two garters. Check that out. I'm sure we're gonna see more of these guys. So I'm just gonna move them off to the side here. Oh, another garter. Just gonna move that guy off. Better look at them. Pretty neat. Oh, whoa. That's a huge red belly. Check that out. And look how much darker red the belly is on that one. That's cool. All right, look at that. Good looking snake. Look at the granite blue on the sides. A much darker red belly, that's awesome. All right, just gonna take a quick cell phone picture and then gonna let it go back in its rocks. We've got a bunch more to flip. Oh, oh, oh my God. This guy looks barely alive. But it's a green snake, and I've seen very few here. Well, let's get a better look. Man, this poor green snake, it looks like it could be a gravid female. I'm not too sure, but it looks like it had a nasty run in with a predator. Give you guys a good look at the face first. And it does look like it's going into a shed cycle. But look at this, it's got a stump tail with a some sort of scar there. Then another bunch of scars right here, really torn up. And look at that, it turns blue. Wow, that's really interesting. The belly looks okay, but man, that's really interesting. I wonder what happened. They recently just brush hogged the edge of this trail here. So I don't know if it got run over by the brush hog, but based off the clipped tail and these healing scars, I think it's a little bit more likely that it was eaten, or not eaten, almost eaten, by some kind of predator. Luckily, it looks like it's healing well, 
and it could be gravid. So even if it doesn't survive this injury, which I think it definitely is going to, um, it might be able to pass on its genes. I'm going to take a couple cell phone pictures and then keep the encounter really short with the snake because uh, I don't want it to uh, get any more stressed out than it already has been. It's coiled up pretty nicely now for me to be able to show off some of these injuries um, and get a good profile shot of the snake. Now these snakes went out of shed and uh, not so roughed up are actually a lot more vibrant. Um, I'm going to let this snake go and to nip these comments in the butt ahead of time, I do want to say this is not a situation in which the snake needs to be rescued or anything like that. Wild snakes are really, really tough. And as you can see, that snake was hefty and healthy. Um, it did have a lot of external injuries, but I think it's gonna be completely okay. Onward, here's a big rock. Oh, ring neck. Look at that, that's a nice vibrant ring on this snake. And it seems like there are lots of snakes undercover tonight. Look how almost blue that looks. Let's see what the belly looks like. Pretty vibrant as expected. Look at that, that's beautiful. I'm a big ringneck snake appreciator, even though they're very common and people that look for snakes like myself kind of turn their noses up at them because of that. They're super vibrant. How could you not like them? I'm going to let this guy go back under his rock here and we're going to keep looking. almost got away. That's cool. Now that is an excellent looking red belly. Look at that thing. It's somewhere in between the orange we saw in the first two and the darker red we saw in the second two. Contrasted with a nice black top, that thing is phenomenal. Wow. I almost missed him too. Look at that. Beautiful snake. Man, what a clean looking red belly. This thing is so nice from head to toe. There it goes, head to tail. Wow. Gorgeous snake. I'm gonna let it go back under its rock here. Maybe we'll get another green snake though. I'm hopeful for that. Oh, look, another dark red belly. Check it out. Wow, look at this one is even darker than the last, but it almost has like a chocolate brown stripe down the back. It's like faded out to be black. You wouldn't think it, like the last one was so dark, but it had those little white stripes. This one's got an equally, eh, a little bit less red of a belly. I'm gonna let it go. All right, here's a real big one. Let's see, can we get it? Ah, uh, whoa, a ringneck and a garter. Let's see, oh, oh, and we had a ringneck get away just now, right there, oh, there goes the other ringneck. I dropped him, and here's the garter. All right, <laughs> and there's also a rock right here. Looks like it's been flipped by a bear. We'll see if the, oh, dude, a huge green snake. Oh my God, what the heck? Oh my god, that's amazing. Whoa. Whew. Look how big this thing is. That's crazy. What the heck, dude? Insanity. Really big and gravid. I wish it were out of shape because look how big that is. Be vibrant, vibrant green. That's awesome. I'm going to take some cell phone pictures, and as with every snake, we're going to let it go. Hopefully that puts it into perspective how big this thing is. Like, what? Wow. All right, I'm going to put it down. Wow. This is freaking awesome. It's like every single rock or piece of cover has something under it. I mean, I, I have barely ever found green snakes here, and two now, two big gravid ones, it's just so cool. We're gonna see what else we can find. I, I haven't even gotten to the good cover yet where I've found green snakes before, so uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, big red belly. Check it out. This is another 
kind of new looking one. Nice. Buddy is in shed, so I'm gonna keep this kind of brief and uh, put them back here. Give me friends though. Got a porcupine way ahead. I'm gonna throw my telephoto lens on and try to get a picture. The porcupine went in there before I even got to try to find him. <laughs> too bad, it took too long to get my lens on. All right, this thing has been really good in the past. Let's see what we have. Oh, I see a milk. It is a ugly milk though. Gonna get a picture of it before it moves. Hope he's gonna get away. Maybe I just gotta grab him. Wouldn't be horrible looking at a shed, but it's also not too great looking. Very dull colors on this one. I'm a little underwhelmed because one time I flipped a bright orange one under this board, but uh, I'll just let it on its way. Cool. a ring neck too but look at that milk oh my god this is like hands down the best flipping session I've ever had here look at how nice that milk snake is so much better than the last one I mean just by aesthetic standards it's so orangey it's beautiful I'm actually gonna take some pictures of this snake wow look at that that's gorgeous Wow, the face is really cool. Holy smokes. Got coastal colors, but eastern pattern. The thing is so nice. And very little black on it. Damn. All right, one last look at this thing. Now, where I found that adult earlier in the video, just a couple flips ago, I found an adult that was this color one time. Now this snake is not um, extremely young. It's at least a couple years old, so so it's I think it's kind of rounded the curve on its adolescence. So it's definitely gonna hold this color, if I had to guess. That is incredible. Alright, letting this guy go back under a rock here. That's awesome. There's a ring neck in the folds of the carpet. That's kind of cool. Looks like it's in a shed. Yeah. I'm moving into this pile of logs. Let's see. I've always wanted to find a green snake under one of these carpets. Ring neck. Nice. Put them over here. This is the flip clip, but here's a quick double flip. For a garter who's getting away, and a nice little ring neck. Nice. All right guys, it's starting to get dark and uh, <laughs> I don't wanna be up here after dark because that would be a long walk back. But um, I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you made it this far and you're new to the channel, thanks for watching and uh, consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one.